take responsibility to ask questions prove Bible wrong if you have the power to do that prove God wrong that's the assignment that is the primary thing you need to do if you don't take up a movement something will move you if you don't move something will move you so instead of something pushing you all the days of your life begin to take a move in a particular direction for you to create a movement and by being a mover society today many people are slaves in the hands of circumstance and as you are finishing this page of worry problems you are entering into another page you know the world is how many billion over seven billion people on earth nigeria is 200 million people here on earth now if there are one million people who wants to express themselves in whichever way positively or negatively which absolutely what we have is over one million people who wants to express themselves in a negative way now and you are there watching them playing that means it in, in each seconds of the day there is a proposal in each second per second a day there is a proposal there are influences coming from these one million people that even think and want to express themselves in a negative way either to make money or to steal money or to cheat people or to deceive people or to tell lies or to have fun or to be into luxury or whatever one million people they sit they strategize so if you don't think at all then up to one million things will be looking for expression through you per second of the day so when you buy into a proposal before you finish that one another one will pop in another one will pop up another one will pop up then you lose control you lose yourself before you know you become a child of the society societal influence but it is advisable that you sit back to discern and decide on what you yourself is going to move you create a movement you start driving yourself so that when those one million things comes you can delete and cancel all of them without any apology without any regret without any had i known without anything As many as are listening to me including you sitting here and people that are going to listen to me if you see the kind of fear people express in life you pity humanity you pity humanity you fear everything around you because there is no nothing you are in charge of in your life nothing you are in charge of including yourself you are not in charge of yourself before you know it is government say this school say this church say this pastor say this police say this what are you saying yourself <laughs> what are you saying yourself jesus asked the disciples that's what i was asking you 
when I was teaching about definition, define anything you want to look for or go into and look for the nature. So Jesus was looking at the disciple, following him. A point came, he began to ask them, let them know whether they have any definition or are they are just following him because they want to follow him. Whom do you think I am? This person you are following, that is your friend. Why am I your friend? Why am I your mentor? He says some say you are Elijah. Okay, you are following me because somebody told you I am Elijah. Or some say you are Moses. You are following me because people say I am Moses. You felt it. Then Peter said, you are the son of God. Jesus commissioned him immediately. For him, knowing, identifying things he is following. Many of you today, as I know, you are into marriage. You don't even know why you are in the marriage. Including all of you standing here, sitting here. You don't know why you are in marriage. A little thing, you start looking for mortar to use it and break one thing <laughs> or the other. Because you don't know the purpose of marriage. Nobody gave you definition of marriage. Nobody. Glory be to God. After three years of marriage, you start looking for who will prophesy for you. Glory be to God. So many are in business. They don't know why they are in business. How much are you making in a month? I don't know. There was a, a little inquiry I made briefly sometimes. I find out that people selling provision store in the village don't even know that the same transportation they pay going to Gosa is the same transportation they can pay moving a little bit from Gosa and getting things cheap. Getting things cheaper than that. They are just into business. You buy, you sell, no inquiry, no research. Then, if I'm talking of business, do you know all of you, except few, <laughs> except few, don't know why you are what you are, why you are here on earth. You don't know. It is the latest thing in the society is what you are browsing for. Please, I've laid the foundation of today's message. Life is too simple. But when you are not a mover, you are not in charge of yourself, you enter into a problem. Because everything would like to buy into you. You see this body is too expensive. Spirit does not have body. So anyone who can sell his body to Satan is a very good candidate and they will pay you highly but you know that the wages of sin is death so satan is want to you are too expensive but you don't know satan wants to buy you will you work for me he will pay you and as satan wants to buy you that is also god wants to buy you but in god's own case he doesn't price you. He has a price already. A price tag for anyone that works for him. It is Satan that can come and price you. And when you put your price, he will supply you. But at the end of the day, that which you receive from him will destroy you. But as of God, the only price God plays on a person he's to work with is truth obedience to truth 
When you obey truth, God will be there for you. No struggle, no effort, nothing. But Satan can prize you. Do you want to marry three wives? He said, no, there is no money. He said, no problem. There are so many of them there in the streets. Do you want to start drinking alcohol? He said, no, there is no money. He said, no problem. I will connect you to a friend. He supply you. But God don't do that. God stay. And look for he who has the truth. And he walk with the person. You remember the temptation of Jesus Christ in the book of Matthew chapter 4? Satan was the first person who came to prize Jesus. And after Jesus said, no, I will not walk with you, then the angel came and ministered to him. So look for something to make use of your body for your time and your life. Your body is too expensive. Believe me, Satan can pay you anything. I say this someday. He can, Satan can strategize when you see so many of you that are stars. He can take Satan 20 years to make sure he destroys that. Because if one person is saved, millions can be saved to that person. So whatever you need, you need to do to be in charge, it is very, very important. Be a mover. We discuss one of our daughters on Thursday how she has grown at the age of 16 in charge of herself. That no problem that will come, no challenge of life that will come, she will not trash at the age of 16. She's now in charge. Why and what will she fear again when there is no risk in truth? Why you are afraid in life is because you have committed. You are not pure. If you are 100% pure, you can't fear anything. At that point where you think there is nothing, something will pop up. At that point you think there is nothing. You just finished giving me testimony. Right? On Thursday. You told me why you came late to Thursday service. Yes. That you were about to take her bath after taking her bath to dress up. This hand got hooked. She couldn't raise it up. That she had to ask someone to go and bring living water. Which she applied. And pleaded blood of Jesus. And say angel of healing. Angel of healing. Come. Immediately did it and sprinkled living water. Everything became normal. That means... God is close by at all time. Because she was in charge. Angel, a demon brought a suggestion. This thing that happened just in a twinkle of an eye is something that put somebody on a wheelchair. Before they could go to hospital to check up, to check up, to check up, they say it's partial stroke. From partial stroke to so many other things you cannot explain. And you begin to spend money unnecessarily. But because she's a mover, she had to call unto that God whom she had served diligently. And that's what we expect every person. Just like the little child I spoke of on Thursday. When the parent was were packing out from Karamajiji. She decided not to follow them because she wants to stay around the church and close to her school. And she doesn't want to pull out from anything that is not connected to learning and connected to God. But when 
our sister Stella came to tell me that she had taken her to stay with her. So I was wondering, why didn't Ayuba tell me all this, what she's passing through? Till I called her to my office, you know what she told me? He said she didn't feel that that's a problem she would disturb me of. That she can handle it. You see? So it wasn't a problem to her because she has grown to solve the problem to easy off the servant because servant has raised her. <laughs> Glory be to God. And it became, as you say, I, I wasn't seeing it as a problem. So that's why I didn't come to tell you. I wasn't seeing it as a problem because I'm in charge of my destiny. Clap for Jesus. When will you be in charge to have the power to say no and have the power to say yes? Which I told you that your yes is useless when you don't have the power to say no. The strength of your yes is when you have option of, as a no. So our message today is titled Sorrow for Joy. Sorrow from sorrow to joy. Sorrow to, to joy. Sorrow to joy. Sorrow to joy. You have to be conscious of this to move from sorrow to enter into joy. It's a possibility. The world was operating from this angle because humanity had no instrument to sustain themselves, to survive themselves before we came. But now we have the instruments and the vehicle. Instruments and the vehicle that can transform you or transfer you from this sorrow to, to joy. And that vehicle, which is this bridge, is truth. It is the truth that is the bridge you can climb and obedient to it. It will carry you. Simple. Don't argue truth. Don't oppose truth. Don't doubt truth. Don't question truth. Question truth rather, but don't fight it. Glory be to God. Then this is transmission. This is transmission. Here is full of information. It's full of information. The world is full of information. And from the discussion we, we have, we said we have up to one million information here. One million information here which can confuse someone then this information when it comes in if you process it according to the will of God you pass on from here this thing you pass on from here to where to joy if you process it wrongly, you are not living here. Instead of it being information, it becomes deformation. It becomes deformation. So whoever that is here can never know peace or have peace. Because information continue coming. But when you have the truth in you, you can pass on from here to here. When you come here, you enter into rest. And when you enter into rest, spirit picks over your activities. Spirit picks over your activities. Anything you are saying or doing or prayer you are offering, as you are speaking it, it is happening already. Just like what happened to this woman. Just like what happened to the, 
the child we talked about, uh, Mete, in, uh, on Thursday, we talked about her on Thursday, in school, a bosser was asking her, do you have money for school fees? She said yes. And when she came home, somebody asked her, I'm going to pay your school fees for this term. Why you are still speaking? God will answer if you are here. Then anything you are doing outside this place is a struggle and fight. That's why the book of Proverbs say, buy truth and sell it not. Because everything in life is a matter of exchange. Whatever you give your time, you are going to receive. Whatever you get your, uh, give attention to, you are going to receive. Your time and your attention is what control you and propels you. So if you give your attention to evil, you receive evil in return. If you give attention to good, you receive good in return. Glory be to God. The book of Hebrews chapter 4 verse 10. Let's go there. For he that is entered into his rest, he also has ceased from his own works as God did from his. Let's go. Let us labor therefore to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. God rested. Spirit takes over. You cease from your work, your efforts. Spirit will take over. Life become easy. Life become easy. At the initial time, it is you that make a decision and stand by it. But when the movement sets, it is the spirit that reminds you what to do. It's the spirit that decides for you. That's what I was telling you. Being a man of God and being God in a man is different. You can be a man of God from the beginning, but a point will come if you continue, you become God in a man. That is to say, there is nothing you can do without God being away. Then God becomes your remote control. Sorrow for joy. Become conscious of this and begin to pack your load from this to another side. Begin to pack. Life is an exchange. When you have made mistakes in life, when you have a negative thought, when you have a negative idea, habit, the only thing you need to do is to bring it to God. When you submit it to God, God will give you something that is more powerful than that your problem. That will solve the whole problem. That's why I started from the book of Matthew chapter 11 verse 28. All of you that are labored and a heavy laden, come to me. I will give you rest. God is going to give you something in exchange but he's promising you that your yoke will be light. It's not going to be a heavy yoke like other people. Just like what happened to her. Let's read that verse. What happened to her killed other people. But because God's yoke is light, living water sorted out the problem. Precious just came to my office now. I was telling me of the brother that had a snake bite in the village. They have spent almost 100,000 naira to cure that. It continued popping water from the leg. But when he came up to this place, he said she, was, she said she was watching it. Within three weeks, the wound dried up.
That's a light yoke, not a heavy yoke. If you see what people are spending in hospital, if you see what people are spending in hospital, you doff your cap for this our God. And don't take it for granted. Don't take it for granted. Go and ask them. If you see how people are dying like foul, like somebody you see today, tomorrow, you woke up, you say, no, it's just uh, uh, slums. Two of us. People are dying like foul. You glorify our God. Imagine such authority that the church say we are beyond untimely death. Can you imagine that? Which is a fulfillment of the Bible. Because it said the last enemy to be conquered. We have fulfilled it. The last enemy to be conquered is death. We said it. A church that have been around for 11 years and they have never been casualty. Those that died, two only, which many of you even forgot the first one. Yeah. But I still remember it. Two killed themselves out of disobedience. Not that our God is not able. They kill themselves. That a point when we went for rescue, the last person that died, when we dived in into the spirituality for a rescue, after prayer, I say, God, come, sit down here, give me your confession. So that it become between me, God, and Satan. Give me confession. He said, no, has nothing to confess. Now, Kenneth met him here in front of this place and tell him, Kenneth didn't even know what was going, what I discussed with him in my office. Kenneth went and said, go and open up to servants. Go and open. He was alive, complete. Go and open up to the servants. He was just quiet. That demon has already knocked his mouth up. Which is accumulated error. Because if you are here and you are not regarding me, you are not regarding my word, it, the same thing will still happen to you. Because you have built it up fighting me every day. The same thing will happen to you. The next thing you hear is that this person is dead. And people will be surprised, but not me. Because I know where to find out. And even before finding out, I must have told you so many times to be careful. He said no. When he said no, I said okay, no problem. But the love and the purpose in which I'm I came into this world to do couldn't see stop me that when the iron was hot I was still called upon I came here in the church around uh, around 9 o'clock I didn't go till 4 a.m. in the morning when we got to the spirits the spirit said we should tell people looking after him to remove all the oils and the anoint I don't know the right name all the back to sender attack my attacker oil the angel said we should go to the pocket of his car we will see an oil there 
And I called I.K. and said, I.K., go to the pocket of his car. They went there. The oil they saw was... Uh, I.K., I, I stand up. What's come? Uh huh. What was the, the name of oil there? Attack my attacker oil. Okay, thank you. Attack my attacker oil was in the pigeon hole. It was gone. Attack my attacker oil was in the pigeon hole in a car of someone who is a New Jerusalemite. Imagine that. Now, we said, okay. Then the Spirit told us that as we are praying for this person to be free, that they don't want to take another chance. Because so many where he has submitted his names and where he goes, when they solve this problem now, demon will take the glory. I said, God, please, because of me, the servant. Please, because of me, the servant. Now, they said, okay, let everything cease. Then they start work. They started work, pa, 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 before you know, they reconnected everything, destroy as many as they could destroy. Then everything come down the following morning he walked with his leg and he was on coma he walked with his leg all of a sudden then prayer warriors again trooped in they removed their currents and that took him then when he died spirit does not lie when they went to his house so many posters so many pictures of so many different ma woman of God and uh, man of uh, whatever, man of God were there bag of sand oil this one, that one and you are coming to the church bag of sand are you working in Tipa Garage? What are you doing with sand? Is these people go and bring sand to represent your family? So, please, we are in charge. We are a vessel. We are a messenger of the living God. I am telling you, be conscious of yourself. It is not difficult to live without sin. It is just because your mind is already corrupt. It's not difficult to live above sin. But because your mind is already corrupt, polluted, and adulterated. Now, let me guide you. It is not also difficult to be a rich man. We have proven it. It is easier to be a rich man than to be a poor man. But the culture you grew up with is what is becoming your problem. You have been told that no, it is not possible to live a right life by the society, by one million people giving you suggestion. You have been told that it is not easy to be a rich man. It has been told that what killed your father must eventually kill you. You have been told that yes, you can never give birth to a female, a male child. Yeah, they have been told that your, your sisters who married before you never stayed in marriage. You have been told all these things. They formed your thinking and reasoning pattern. You become a prisoner. Become a prisoner. So I'm telling you, begin to relocate. Tell your neighbor, relocate. From sorrow to joy. From sorrow to joy. From sorrow to joy. 
whatever the society have given you and it is not to the standard of God you have the power to resist it and one thing I really want to guide you with to help you do that is don't take life seriously don't take life seriously don't take it seriously I'm going to explain to you Praise the Lord. Are we there? Don't take life seriously. If any person is telling you take life serious or something like that, it could be a loss of words or the person is speaking what is not conscious of. But if the person is conscious of, then the right thing is don't take life seriously remove that seriousness and put become conscious of life god is not a serious man but god is a consciousness did you get it god is not a serious man but god is a consciousness and likes attract lies so what you do in whatever you're doing you see they can go inspirational speakers inspirational speakers can take life tell you to take life seriously but i'm telling you don't take life seriously but be conscious be conscious of life and the two things which you are going to be conscious of is be conscious of who you are and what you came into the world to do these two things if you become conscious of sin you become a sinner because it's like opening a tap opening wi-fi to sin that is the reason people coming from religion even war gecko, they can use uh, cutlass to hit on war gecko and break their wall. Why are they doing that? Because they are conscious of demon. Any cockroach that moves around is demon. Am I communicating with you? I'm trying to tell you the secret of how to pass on from here to the other. When you become conscious of sin, when you become conscious of devil, anything that comes around you, okay, yes, this is my grandpa. This is my grandpa. This thing that happened to this woman, where her mind would have gone is, hey, the same pattern, my uncle used to die he has come back again now the devil will now come and say yes but you are own you are not going to die immediately <laughs> you are not going to die immediately you know so he keeping that he keeping that before you know pam he will kill her as he killed your uncle clap for Jesus for this realization are we there so people are hundred percent conscious of demon conscious of enemy at all points in time they don't know that as soon as you are conscious of that you are feeding from it it's like a smoke you can't go in a place where there is smoke and say it will, you, it, you will not inhale the smoke the only thing that can make the smoke not to enter you is either you are putting on a gadget that protects you from smoke which means you are conscious of who you are and what you are going there to do or you stay away 
from where the smoke is. This God you people are looking for in the mountain is closer than the air you breathe. And being God being a, a consciousness, let me develop it for you. God being a consciousness, a consciousness can be liquid, can be liquid or gaseous. Sorry, gaseous or gaseous. So you know how gas penetrates into a closed door. You know how smell penetrates into a closed door. That is, God is even tinier and more sensitive than gas. Because if I start saying consciousness, you will not understand. That is, God is tinier than that. So there is no place where you are, God is not there. Or there is no place where you are, spirit is not there. It's tiny. Have you been women? I think this one goes for you. But I experienced it when I was cooking and even till now after my wife finished cooking. Praise the Lord. When you finish cooking and close the door and walk away, like after like two minutes, two hours, three hours, four hours, you go back to the to the kitchen, you feel hotness, hotness of the, the warmness of that environment. That warmness is the spirit of that fire you burn. That warmness there is the spirit that is there. If you cut onions and somebody who were not when you cut onions came in and say, hey, onions is smelling here. That onions, the spirit of the onions is that what the person in hell. The form is the physical onions. The smell is that. That is how anyone who does evil after you do evil or think evil you smell in the spiritual world you smell in the spiritual world when your thought is expressing itself in a negative form you smell in spiritual world devil will see you and know that you are conscious of evil or you have done evil and they will enter you in Okay, you remember the day we were discussing? Eh? Yes. I was telling him certain times when the iron was hot financially. I said, when you begin to worry poverty, 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 <laughs> you are multiplying it. Uh, this business that is about to happen, you how is it you bring phone you call the person uh, hello will i come this morning he said no in the morning you call him when is the right time to you he said no he said like three days he called the person have i offended you hey the contract you will never get it again because that's your anxiety and worry and pushy 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 is sending a signal spiritually demon you don't have that calmness you don't trust yourself if i'm communicating with you raise up your hand sit down that eagerness gunners gunners makes you that you don't want this thing you are even the devil will know and the person whom you want to do something with will also know but when you use the formula of calmness as a new Jerusalemite, 
as a person who is loaded with truth that what will be should be and what will not be will not be and Romans 8 28 still in charge all things work together for good to them that love God and them that are called according to his purpose when you learn how to live that life you won't force yourself on people what should be should be what is for you must locate you wherever you are then life becomes smooth life becomes very calm you enter into rest spirits begin to work for you so that's what i'm saying about consciousness being conscious of truth fill yourself with truth all films you watch is negative films listening to negative friends you think you will escape attack is a lie <laughs> you think you will escape attack is a lie automatically you are registered so your thoughts is the sim card of either devil or god your thoughts what you think is a sim card either the thing that gives satan the right to call you or devil to call you and it's automatic in whichever network you switch off you begin to receive the frequency glory be to god so it is time for you to understand that you need to change your sim card you need to change your consciousness of evil at all time look at us today we're not saying that devil does not exist but we're not conscious of devil we are conscious of god and being as conscious of god then devil cannot penetrate but a situation where you are conscious of devil then you begin to get it if you become conscious of poverty poverty begin to follow you you why do you think many men are stingy haven't you been with a, st a stingy person he wants to do this one no money is what you are conscious of you remain poor be liberal immediately you look at something and it worth spending for go for it I'm sorry you stingy men I'm sorry you stingy men but we must learn from this my wife have never known whether I watch two naira or three naira whether I have this or have that because there is nothing he, she demands I cannot afford freely and when I do it she will know that the, maybe this is the last card I have but I feel joy because I must do it I feel joy because I must do it. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Yeah. Not, hey, by pampas. Why should you call, allow me to rest now? <laughs> <laughs> allow me to rest now I just do this and after complaining you see by it then why complaining <laughs> after complaining you still buy it why are you complaining you are becoming conscious of limitation and poverty will follow you in Satan's name be liberal the things you must do do it do it yeah. do it the one you cannot do sit the person down explain why you will not do it and let life continue 
Explain. Glory be to God. Take this from me. He who buys fake, paid wise, pays wise. He who buys fakes or inferior things, you pay it wise. He who buys fake pays twice. Make sure that whatever you want to do is to standard and normal. Don't look at money. Be conscious of the value that thing which you are doing is going to bring to you. Don't be conscious of money because money is paper. But what is the value? In behind what you are doing. You go ahead and do it. Glory be to God. You are the one who is telling me. Who was telling me still in the office. That. Since you contributed to the printing of the book of excellence. Yes, that your shop. Is busy at all times. Yes, True of us. You told me that your husband will come to your shop and begin to wonder what is the magic. And you say you are selling, you don't even know that goose is going out of your shop. Yes. Have you seen it? Yes. Sit down. That's the liberality and the freedom. But so many of you are waiting for me to tell you to pay your tithe. Waiting for me to tell you to do what you're supposed to do. Start waiting for me. I'm richer than you. Both in the spirit and the physical. And if I should ask you for anything, then I'm not serving a living God. Any day, if I have ever approached you and advised you on that, is out of love. Out of love. But no. If you want to be conscious, that's what Jesus was saying. He who wants to protect his life will lose it. And he who loses his life for my sake will gain it. The same thing. He who loses, want to protect his time, will lose it. And he who wants, loses his time for my sake will gain it. He who wants to protect his money will lose it. And he who saves his money for my sake, loses his money for my sake, will become rich. Effortlessly. Spirit will take over. Spirit will take over. A point came certain time. Mamej, my come. A point came certain time I took her to the spirits to see and she saw. The day we went to the spiritual world, what did you see where you are cooking up? Bush. You saw bush yeah. where you are cooking up. Everywhere yes, was started in the spiritual world. Yes, sir. And what did they tell you? They said I will not pay my tithe. Since that day, she saw herself and learned her lesson. Ever since then, have you stopped paying your tithe? I will not my Even I know conscious, I will give my children, they will pay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand that? Let her see a tip of what she's denying herself. That me telling you to be a tighter to pay your tithe. The reason I'm telling you that is because this money you are wasting here would have helped you yes, to grow. She went there. She saw bush there. She was asking, is this not where I'm cooking up? Huh? Why is there bush? They reported to her that the reason is because you are not a faithful tithe. We didn't discuss anything like tithe. But she just went there and saw what is happening there. Conscious of demon every day. Conscious of 
principalities every day. So many people have called me on phone. I dreamt, I dreamt. I said, stop dreaming. Stop dreaming. Are you Joseph? Those ones you have dreamt, have it ever happened? Allow me to be. Good dream is for good people. Bad dream is for the bad people. So if you dream bad one, check yourself. If you're a bad man, it must happen to you. If you dream good dream, if you're a good person, it can never happen. Chicken, huh? I, I dream I was I was falling from mango tree. I something was pursuing me. It's where I see call. You see, call me. Glory be to God. There are certain things you're supposed to have been grown, outgrown as a new Jerusalemite. I'm not telling you that you don't have to tell me some things. But I told you that there is difference between report and complaint. There is difference between report and complaint. When you are reporting to me, you are looking for solution. But when you are complaining, you are not looking for solution. You just want me to be away. Report does not affect your spirit. Complaints affect your spirit. Glory be to God. Consciousness of evil. Consciousness of poverty will make you poor. Conscious of, consciousness of evil will make you evil. Romans. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Did you get it? Did you get it? Okay. Let's go to the book of... Uh, let's go to the book of uh, Job, chapter 3, verse 25. 3, verse 25. Job 3, 25. Let's all of, let's all of us read. Did you hear it? Did you hear what you read there? He said, For the things which I greatly feared is come upon me, and that which I was afraid of is come unto me. What you learn today, if you don't put it into practice, you will forever fail. Because I have given you the least formula and the shortcut of being great of being free from sin not to be conscious of sin you stop sinning the two things you need to be conscious of is one who you are two what you came into this world to do let it become your driver please put it down those of you that are writing two things that must be in your forefront at all time who you are i'm a child of god i'm a righteousness of god i can't die untimely poverty is not in my dictionary i'm the head and not the tail two is what you came into this world to do it will always be in your forefront. You are a student. Why should you engage in any other discussion that is not related to your study? You are a businessman. Why should you engage your discussion in any other thing that is not related to your business? Am I communicating with you? Yeah. Why must you? So anybody who is not in that area, the person could be an acquaintance, a hello friend, but no longer a friend. Two of you will sit down and begin to talk because if you people are not discussing business, what else do you think you people are going to discuss? Laziness. 
Did you get the explanation? If you are not discussing business, the next thing you are going to discuss is what? Laziness. Because the opposite of business is laziness. Then when you are busy, <laughs> when you are busy, and there is no exchange of money in that business or value, in that business you are into, then you are now busy body. Eh? You become busy, busy body, zombie. So, opposite of business is laziness. So, you should mind your business at every point in time. What did I come into this world to do? I have told you people, anybody can quote me. I've never spent five hours since I was born anywhere without, unless I'm sleeping, without knowing why I'm, why I'm here and what is to profit me being here. Since I was born, I've never been carried away. My consciousness, 100%, is why, what did I come into this world to do? From childhood, I was so conscious of it. And anything that could make me to be, I pay my attention to it. A point will come in your consciousness of what you came into this world to do. You become a solution. Or true. If you raise your hand up, it becomes a solution. If you open your mouth to talk, it becomes a solution. If you go to somebody's house, it becomes a solution. If you walk back, it becomes a solution. Or if you drop your clothes, your clothes become a solution. By then, you have fermented yourself with righteousness, consciousness. You become a solution. Did you get it? You become a solution. There is a certain level a student will come in learning. You don't panic going into exams. There is a certain level a person will come in building your value and your self-worth, no, no office can reject you. No office can reject you. Why won't you get to that level? Because you are not consciousness of who you are and what you came into this world to do. Let me tell you why, as it is in religion, so it is in academics. So it is in academics. Even though we say study sciences, study sciences. That's why we are marrying sciences with practical. Anyone who wants to study computer science, you must learn it by practical first. Before you go and study computer science. So that two can go together. Because without two going together, whatever you, you are standing with one leg. And you can't use it to solve a problem. Can you use one leg to walk? To run, your leg must be two. That's why in our YouTube in Truth Market, we just discussed being a Christian graduate. Being a Christian graduate. And we discussed education. And what is education? Education is understanding anything before doing it. Knowing something before doing it. I remember in the book of excellence, I say you cannot say that a prime minister in China who is solving problems is not educated because he's not speaking English. And he is fixing problems. You can't say that a shoemaker is not educated because he can't speak English. And he's making shoes. So that is why we have three types of Education, three types of education, and listen. One of it is classroom education. Classroom education. 
classroom education is a place where you go to learn the idea of other people to learn the experience and read the experiences of other people to hear what another person say concerning life that is classroom education the second form of education is moral education moral education is not bought with money you get it through intuition through insight through vision through revelation moral education is the same thing with divine education or that something that gives you divine intelligence the third one are we following or do we close are we taking it another one the third and the last is practical education practical education is feed work it is with feed work and daily experiences daily experiences then without these three things coming together you can you are not going anywhere that is the reason as we discussed it in truth market why a graduate is useless jobless why there is no practical education and there is no moral education this moral education is called inward education inward education it come naturally from nature that's why a professor will finish school as a professor he sees smoking drinking and the intercepting habit he cannot help himself the reason is because he went for classroom education without moral education this is the reason why many people who came from royal family have gone to school before 20 the person is already a graduate yet is suffering from addiction and depression the money is there but morality is not there the money is there practical education is not there is it not happening this is what is missing that is the reason you go to church you see harlots criminals they feel so comfortable about their criminology and their harlotry and their negative lifestyle they feel so comfortable why do they feel so comfortable because they have theory but there is no morality then the practical experience they're going to have is going to be a negative practical experience clap for Jesus now we are the people for the first time in human history for the first time in human history to bring education to perfection that's you must have classroom education have moral education and have practical education feed work and daily experiences it's never done that's why you see many people who manufactured computer laptop they at the end of the day committed suicide some died of cancer some dies of depression why they are academically and practically educated but there was no morality in them we have what is not anywhere in the world glory be to God this is it so these three things will be together the morality the ministry of morality it is in the book of excellence the ministry of morality 
This is why you see a footballer star who is under addiction. He wants billions. Yes, he's under addiction. After playing football, he became poor and wretched. Why is that happening? There is no moral education and there is no practical education. Glory be to God. Did you see it? Check. In school today, secondary school, many people, thousands of them, mothers are hearing me and they are going to hear me. Morality is the challenge of any institution now. And we didn't bring morality, just ministry of morality. We brought step by step and the solution. And my children here are evidence to that. Who have passed through the exams and graduated. That they are morally educated and morally sound. That they are practically educated and practically sound. And they have not gone to classroom education, so to say. Like entering into higher institution. Yet all of them have arrived so practical education is more important and it is the link between moral education and classroom education when you have practical education and moral education they are creative please put it down moral education and practical education they are creative They are creative. Classroom education is a chaff. Is, is what? Chaff. It is distributive. Distributive. It helps you to distribute what you have. It doesn't create what you don't have. Classroom education helps you to distribute what you have, but it doesn't create what you don't have. Today I'm able to communicate to people in English because I went to classroom education. But classroom education did not give me intelligence. They are not the people telling me what to say. If not, every professor will become a man of God. Are you there? That is the reason I wonder why Okorobia have not become a pastor. Okorobia, why haven't you become a pastor? Because after going to law school and they finish, look for bailouts, bailouts, there's no way. And the person do agency, do agency, no way. Uh, Okudili will not allow them to, to thrive. Then he will now say, God called me. God is calling him, not because he knows anything, but because he can speak a gram grammar that can confuse the congregation. <laughs> you understand? He can speak grammar that can convince and confuse people. They say, hey, this man, he has the word. He has the word. And families are fighting under your church. But you people are having four powerful services every Sunday. Four powerful services every Sunday. Are you not seeing it in the signboard? He's looking at me. Yeah? You can't watch with me for an hour. You can't watch with me for an hour. It's for you, not for me. Are you there? I've gotten revelation and insight, practical education, and... Uh, moral education to the extent that if I want to be what the society used to be if I'm passing on the street people will be placing carpet for me to pass yes I know it but I don't want to hide what I have we must be one so me teaching you now you are looking at watch for me please you can go to the back. Don't stay in the front. 
You're looking at watch for me. It's for you to make you to become like me. This is what I have. If I don't have it, will I give it to you? It's already in me. I can work with it. And before you know, hey, daddy, daddy, I celebrate your grace. It's not the language. I don't need it. I want to celebrate your own grace. Matthew chapter 5 verse 16. I want to celebrate your own grace. I'm already okay. Praise the Lord. So, this is it. Education is beyond what they do in schools. That's why our children are going to be superhuman beings. Superhuman beings. Because what happened in the Acts of Apostles chapter 4 verse 11 is on the place. Let's start from verse 10. Glory be to God. So simple. So it is easy to be great. But you people are not conscious of good things. You are conscious of evil. Let's see. Be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth whom you crucified whom God raised from the dead even by him does this man stand here before you all let's go this is the stone which was set at naught of you builders which is become the head of the corner the rejected stone let's go neither is there salvation in any other for there is none other than other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved let's go now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. Clap for Jesus. They had been with Jesus. Many children here are behaving already like graduates. Two of us. Many of them here are behaving also like pastors. So many of you have displayed our things. They will ask you, are you a pastor? Unless they begin to ask you that, you are not yet qualified. Okay. Several times have they asked you, Yes, he was. He has so many rich, big men friends and all that. When they went for this gathering, they had someday the old friends. They were looking at him and say, "You are young as you were twenty years ago. What is the secret? All of them are sick. All of them are sick. At the middle of the meeting, you see somebody walking out to go and take tablets." Now, he was putting on this beat. One of them, you know where they are coming from, shook him. When he shook him, he said, the power, where did you get this beat from? He said, why do you ask? Give me a microphone, let him explain. He said, why? Where did you get it? The power, do you know the power that is in this thing? Explain to me how it happened. Yeah, as uh, we are just greeting people in the midst of uh, some um, past senators and then the current House of Fred member from our place. So one of them shook hands with me. Now, I can't mention his name. Yeah, yet. yeah, don't mention. I say, ah, Ima, how do you come about this? <laughs> uh, do you know what they are putting on? I say, oh God, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I should be careful. He said you should be careful. You should be careful. Yes. 
before you destroy something. <laughs> yes. Did you see it? Do you know what you are putting on? Because the transmission, the power flowing through this can only be perceived by a person who is spiritual. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. So, this is how we want to explain things to you. I said it in our closure time. Don't take life seriously. Don't take life seriously. Feel free with life. Let doing good become your culture and your nature. Now, if you don't make life easy for yourself and feel very comfortable about life and become conscious of who you are and what you came into this world to do, your seriousness will make you to make mistakes. Your seriousness about life will make you not to have peace. Your seriousness about your life will take, you, take away your sleep. But what we are programming people is to come to a point where doing good become a consciousness. Then when you become a consciousness, when you become conscious of doing good, please get me another this thing. You see me struggling with this and you have not done anything about it. Praise the Lord. When you become conscious of what you are doing, a point will come, it will shift from consciousness to unconsciousness. It will move from consciousness to unconsciousness. Did you get what I'm saying? Yeah. When you are doing anything, you move, you have to be conscious first of who you are and what you came into the world to do. You have to be conscious of who you are and what you came into this world to do so that people outside there will no longer destroy you. When you hold out your consciousness of who you are for a very long time, a point will come, your consciousness become unconsciousness. Like me now, and so many of you here. I'm unconscious of doing, doing good. I am unconscious of doing good. I'm no longer conscious of doing good because it has become my nature. But I started from being conscious of doing good. Now, there are so many people now who are unconscious of doing evil. Two of us, please pay attention because we have to rewire you. This is how it entered. And this is how I want it to go out. The same thing. The world has done evil to the extent they are no longer, they are unconscious of doing evil. They are no longer conscious of doing evil. Anyone can do evil and feel it's a normal thing. It's a normal thing. That is why religion came. When they came, they were hammering, accept Jesus, accept Jesus, accept Jesus. A point come. People now start going to church. They don't no longer, they don't know why they are going to church. They are just going to church because people say go to church. They are no longer conscious of the reason why they are going to church. That is the reason when evil things come inside the church, nobody can spot it. Nobody can spot it. When you find error in the Bible, nobody can say that this is error. Why? Because they are no longer unconscious. They are no longer conscious of why they are reading the Bible. I want you to understand this. The opposite of good is what? Bad. People are no longer conscious of doing evil. They do evil normally as a character. As a normal thing. As a lifestyle. As a culture. Two of us. So when they see good, they can't spot good. Because they are conscious of evil. How many of you have fought us because you, we say 
Stop praying back to sender. Stop midnight prayer. You know so many people have complained about it. Why? Because they are they, 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 they are unconscious of error. Error has become normal. So when you bring a new thing, they are going to fight it. Because they are not used to this thing. I was discussing with Chinero yes, last time. She was telling me, why are people not watching our, our, this, our YouTube in truth market? Now this is answer to it. The answer to it is that People, when they see truth, they can't spot it. Because evil has become a part of them. So we now are conscious of what we are doing. We continue uploading. We continue uploading. We continue uploading because we are conscious. A point will come. People will be begging us to listen to our... To listen to truth market. And when any person has have a problem, they say go to a truth market. Have you listened to this? Have you listened to this? So you can't expect people who are now evil have become a part of them. Now you bring the truth, they must question it. So that's what I'm saying. Don't be serious about life, but be be conscious of life. Be conscious of life. You start from consciousness. You are a driver. Stand up. You drive. Stand up. Did you went, did you go to driving school? Oh, you went to driving school. Okay. Did you you went to you didn't go to you started driving from early stage in life. Now that time you went to driving school and they give you a, they gave you a car for the first time to drive. You know that if you can you can't talk because you are holding the steering you are conscious to make sure that this thing does not hit something through of us so conscious like but if now you can be chewing granites answering call doing this marching break doing everything all at a time now you are now unconscious <laughs> Did you get it? You are unconscious. Ask Madame Ugu how many pillars are here. She will tell you. Because when she started coming, that was when she started driving newly. So when she wants to do revise, you call Benja to come and revise for her. Why? She's so conscious not to hit anything. But now, Benja, I see reserve reversing for you. <laughs> you are <laughs> Praise the Lord. Okay, brother Kenneth. Okay. So, she is very conscious. Well, how many pillars? One, two, three, four, five pillars. But Jude, also I don't know how many pillars this place is. How many trees here? Yeah. Because she, he is unconscious of driving. So, this is how we want to relocate people. If I want my wife to sweat, I'll give her a key and say, let us drive. Are you there? She'll be thinking, wah, 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 wah. I'll just be laughing in my heart. She has not heard this thing I'm saying now. So unconscious, everything matters for her. So that is why people fail in righteousness because you are too conscious you are too conscious not to commit sin not to do this not to do that fear every time did I the high I said did I put it high or high you begin to compare because you are conscious of sin but when consciousness of sin goes out of you you become conscious of truth over time then you become unconscious of doing good because it has 100% become a part of your life glory be to God Mete stand up Ayuba stand up yeah she was the one we are talking about at the age 16 she said that there is no problem that comes to her 
that is any more a problem now at a point all the worthy daughters when we started it was like why is this man disturbing them as in you do this you do that you do that come this is the way to follow this is the way to follow this is the way to follow are you there but i knew inside of me now this is a new thing coming i must be patient with them till they master it today they have mastered it they are now unconscious doing it as a lifestyle glory be to god am i communicating with you they are unconscious it's no longer hey maybe i stay with a man or a man shook me or something like that they are now 100 percent in charge away of who they are and what they came into the world to do so we have to stop here but what i really want you to know is that you have to exchange your sim card change your sim card 100 percent allow the book of ezekiel chapter 28 verse 36 to work for you change your sim card change your friends change your friends if you don't have anything to do in, in facebook close your facebook account close your facebook account it's an advice i'm not saying you must are you there change if you have any friend that drink alcohol smokes alcohol, smokes pull out from him build friends that are true and real over time you become as good as the person but as long as you are relating and sharing common things things in common with evil people before long you become an evil man because they bring you to your consciousness what sorry yeah ezekiel please let it work for you let's see it don't take life seriously but be conscious of life behold thou art wiser ezekiel 26 Th 36 rather 36 26 praise the lord 36 26 please take this a new heart also will i give you and a new spirit will i put within you and i will take away the stony heart out of your flesh and i will give you an heart of flesh let's go and i will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my status and you shall keep my judgment and do them clap for jesus so at the initial time when you start doing good it's always a challenge but a point will come it will no longer be a challenge but what i want to let you know today you must stop spot evil you must spot evil s-p-o-t before you can stop it please put it down those of you are writing you must spot evil before you can stop it if you have not spotted that the life you are living is not okay you can never stop it if you have not spotted that the friends you are keeping is pulling you down you can never stop them you have if you have not spotted that smoking is destroying your life you can never stop it when you take evil to be normal you can never stop that evil and worse still what to kill you is if you don't know that you are responsible of the evil you are doing and you say it is a spirit or you say it is a cousin or this is uncle that is causing your problem you are finished you have to spot evil for you to stop it and when you spot it know that you are hundred percent responsible and in charge of your destiny and begin to live it that's the only way to overcome thank you jesus
Glory be to God. When you take evil to be normal, it will become normal for you. Don't take life seriously. Praise the Lord. You must, we are ending with what? You must spot evil before you can stop it. Evil you have not identified in your life, you can never stop it. But when you spot evil, you become conscious of good to, account, to counter it. Then before you know, you turn back, you will look at, start looking for that habit, looking for that evil, you don't know where it is again because you have changed your atmosphere, your SIM card. According to the book of Ezekiel 36. Glory be to God. Heavenly Father, any cage and bondage religion has put you into, ignorance has put you into, all the mistakes you have made in life, which you thought is normal, may them be exposed now to you in the name of Jesus. May they be exposed now in the name of Jesus. Realize it to be wrong in the mighty name of Jesus. Let this, let this remorse of doing evil come upon you. Come upon you. Come upon you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You know, religion was so bad that they came to a point and said there is permissive will of God. Permissive will of God. That is evil that have been taken as normal and as a culture. Permissive will of God. Then everybody now begin to live in error unconsciously. But we refuse that to be in your life in the name of Jesus. Thank you Holy Spirit. Life is like a camera. Whatever you focus the lens to, wherever you focus is that what it picks. I pray that your mind will be removed from evil to good in the name of Jesus. From evil to good in the name of Jesus. From sorrow to joy in the name of Jesus. From men to spirit in the name of Jesus. From men to spirit in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray as a servant of the living God, may your children become conscious of who you are. May they become conscious of where they are. This is the embassy of the new Jerusalem. A gateway to heaven. A gateway to heaven. Open your mouth. Father, take me into this institution. Renew me. Cross me over from sorrow to joy. Cross me over from sorrow to joy. Open my understanding. Help me to spot my errors. Help me to identify my problems. When Saul was killing Christians, he did not know that it was wrong to kill. He was following religious order, Judaism. But when he spotted his problem, he cried. And he was changed from Saul to Paul. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, may your sin not be used against you. May your sin not be used against you. Amen. The book of a Hebrew, Romans, it says, Blessed are the generation whose sins are not factored in. Romans chapter 4. I begin to pray. Anything you have done wrong in the past, this is new you. This is new you. Amen. This is new you. Amen. This is new you. This is new you. In the name of Jesus. Begin to clothe yourself with a new garment. Garment of righteousness. Garment of good thoughts. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I clothe myself. Begin to say, clothe yourself. Clothe yourself with a garment of righteousness. With a garment of peace. With a garment. With a garment of righteousness truthfulness, garment of sincerity, garment of forgiveness, garment of tolerance, garment, 
garment 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 of commitment garment of dedication it might seem difficult at the beginning but the point will come it will become your nature open your mouth and begin to pray heavenly father clothe me clothe me with righteousness clothe me with righteousness clothe me with righteousness begin to pray take my body take my soul take my spirit make me a solution make me a solution to myself and to others may I be connected to your frequency may I be connected to your lineage may I be your descendant Heavenly Father adopt me adopt me adopt me adopt me open your mouth and begin to pray take me for who I am purify me sanctify me thank you Jesus cause me to do good cause me to do good cause me to do good cause me to think good cause me cause me cause me cause me in Jesus mighty name we pray in Jesus mighty name we pray haven't you seen people who say I can't sleep and I don't know why I cannot sleep immediately I want to close my eyes my spirit will move my thought will move it's because they are no longer struggling to worry worry has become their nature many people have told me you know you can't control your thoughts because it has become their nature they are unconscious of thinking evil of comparing themselves with other people of saying hey I'm going to be poor they are unconscious so the more they worry the more sleep go, go away from them but so many of you when you start following our word I see so many who say I sleep like a baby now why they are no longer conscious of failure they are no longer conscious of evil they are no longer conscious of neighbor neighbor bought a car and I have not bought you know they are no longer conscious that they are common take of life give them that freedom they are looking for so that's what I'm saying don't be serious about life but be conscious about life of who you are I begin to pray Heavenly Father by strength shall no man prevail consciousness is a spirit seriousness is a physical effort to make this be may you switch over from seriousness to consciousness in the name of Jesus from seriousness to consciousness in the name of Jesus may you be conscious of who you are who you are in the mighty name of Jesus in the name of Jesus father take control take control ask God make me to be in charge of myself in charge of my spirit make me to be in charge of myself cause me to obey your word as you said in the book of Ezekiel 36 cause me to obey your word as you said cause me to be obedient cause me to be a righteous person cause me to be righteous cause me to be fearless cause me cause me cause me to be obedient to your word cause me to be righteous cause me to think good cause me to think good cause me to be calm cause me to be faithful father cause me cause me cause me cause me cause me cause me to be obedient cause me to be obedient St. Paul said what I hate doing not I see myself doing and the things I don't want to do I see myself doing and the things I want to do I see myself not doing it 
is because the Spirit of God have not taken over him. Begin to pray. Implant your spirit on me and cause me to do good. Make me a God in a man. Make me a God in a child. Take away the spirit of flesh out of me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Give me a new life, a new friend, a new focus. Focus your camera, your focus, your attention on good. Become conscious of good, not conscious of evil. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Lord. It is done.